The next factor that impacts your Facebook ad success and that you really have significant control over is placements. So if you just run a campaign and don't really touch anything, uh, by default, you'll use automatic placements, which sounds good uh, in theory, and Facebook really wants you to go this way. Uh, when you set it as automatic placements, Facebook will use automatic placements to maximize your budget and help show your ads to more people. Facebook's delivery system will allocate your ad sets budget across multiple placements based on where they're likely to perform best. So uh, <laughs> this is where you decide whether or not you trust Facebook and how they distribute <clears throat> uh, your ads. So some uh, placements are obviously going to be more effective than others. Um, but if you edit, you can decide, I only want to show my ads in these places. Um, that's going to be up to you. So placements, if you're not familiar, that's where your ads are going to reach people. So things like desktop and mobile news feed, right-hand column, Instagram feed, stories, messenger, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, that said, not all placements are created equal, and we need to understand that. Some places cost much more just to reach people than others. So if there's um, less inventory, there's more competition, uh, it's going to cost more just to reach people in that place. But that said, some places are also more effective than others. So um, one example that used to be the case much more in the past was right-hand column. And people would look at right-hand column and say, my cost per convert, or excuse me, my conversion rate is poor. My, um, my click-through rate is poor. And so they would focus on that and say, oh, I don't, I don't want to use right-hand column. But the reality is um, it was so cheap to reach people. There was a time where it was like a 50th of the cost to reach people there compared to like desktop news feed. It was so ch cheap to reach people that it was actually a really good cost per action. Now, that's not necessarily as much the case these days, but that's something that we need to consider and keep in mind. So how should we approach placements, though? Um, don't go into this assuming, in most cases, that some placements work and some placements don't. Um, you should obviously learn, though, from your experiences. Uh, there are some things that I've learned that I'm going to talk about here in a second that you should be wary of. Um, that So you, you need to learn a little bit, uh, but... For example, right-hand column can be effective. Don't worry about the conversion rate um, and the different, because of the different costs there. You can also, to get a true sense of what's effective and what's not, um, you don't necessarily need to create separate ad sets or anything like that. Analyze your results in breakdown. You can break down by placement, and you can see what is my cost per conversion, per action, whatever it is, by placement. And don't just look at it on a single campaign basis. Um, Look at it on an account level if you can. So observe how Facebook tends to distribute budget. Uh, for example, I've found that if my the action I'm optimizing for is something like a link click or a landing page view, uh, Facebook will almost always distribute most of that or a big chunk of that budget to audience network. But if I want a conversion, like a sale, all of a sudden, audience network disappears. That should give you some idea of the quality of, of that placement. So, you know, I go back and forth on this. It just depends on how Facebook distributes the budget. Because if, if, it, if they do it appropriately and um, there's a little bit of budget allocated to every placement, uh, spending the most and what is most effective, great. Good job. That's optimization at its best. So if you have a little bit of spend here and there, excuse me, here and there, um, placements aren't performing that great, I'm okay with that. Um, but you got to really watch out for when Facebook ha puts a high spend on low-performing placement. When I say low-performing, the problem is it may not appear low-performing on the surface. So, for example, um, I've, I'll talk about audience network over and over. You, it could give you the best cost per click or best cost per landing page view but what is the quality of that click? If you dig deeper and see how long do people spend on your site after clicking that, or um, do they do anything else well on your site after clicking that, give you an idea. Was this an accidental click? Was this a bot? Um, and, and that's the kind of stuff we really need to watch out for. 
So be wary of that surface, surface level information, those clicks. Um, automatic placements are okay. Just be wary. Um, so if you start seeing issues, that's when you need to start making adjustments. Because, yes, I've seen repeatedly that audience network can be problematic. I know Facebook has come out a bunch of times saying how great it is. I'm still not there. So understand that within your ads manager, you can break down the performance of any campaign or ad set uh, by placement. So this can be really, really um, informative regarding um, how, how it's performing depending on where people are seeing it. So click breakdown by delivery. And while you're there, notice all these other ways of breaking it down too, but by placement, really helpful. But yeah, the audience network worries me because of stuff like this, where all of a sudden I'll get a big refund uh, because Facebook realized they're basically a bunch of bots and um, apps out there that are monetizing monetizing themselves with audience network where there's uh, some fraud, basically. Um, and and do they catch it all or not? Because if they don't, we're paying for it, right? All right, so that's just something to consider. Um, I rarely use Audience Network. I, I, I will leave it in there oftentimes if it's uh, I'm looking for a sale because if Facebook sees they're not getting sales from a certain placement, it, they just won't distribute to that placement. Um, whereas, So I don't, I'm not worried about quote-unquote service-level information at that point because if it's a sale, it's a sale. But if it's a click, there's high and low-quality clicks. All right, so hopefully that makes sense.